So I really hadn't planned on coming to this location, but I'm currently at Huckleberry Ridge Conservation Area, just uh, east of Pineville, Missouri. We camped here three years ago. This is the exact spot where we camped. Doesn't really look like this campsite's been used in three years. Here was the fire pit. The fire pit used to be here. Oh, go purple, go. I can tell you this Huckleberry Ridge Conservation Area it's completely covered in bugs. What the hell? I am getting attacked by gnats. I don't, I just don't think it's known about it. In fact, all Missouri conservation areas, I, I think are underutilized, which is good and bad, bad I guess, but uh, we pay for it. And there's a lot of great ones and most of them have dispersed camping. I don't think anybody knows this. So up Northern Missouri where there's no national forest, there's a lot of areas you can, you can camp in for free. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, I visited some of them in my uh, videos. You can look and, and search those out, but uh, whew, boy, I'll get you semi-high. Huffing some DEET. I'm gonna continue on, hit the pavement and head to Cyclone Road. I'm still in Huckleberry Conservation Area. Yeah, I just think this is just uh, underutilized hidden gem. I think it's awesome. Anyway, I passed, there's a, another little pull through campsite up here on the left. I just want to show you that real quick. Let's pull through. In fact, I think there's a trail that goes on here. Oh man, you can put a trailer here. This road I just came up in uh, the west side. It's a nice little pull through. Easily fit a camper here. I don't remember it being this big last time. Here's what used to be a fire pit. I'm telling you, this is, this is underutilized. So, and then there's a trail here. I'm just gonna walk around the bend here. It's a horsey trail. So this is all used for, for horse, but I've yet to see uh, evidence of horses, hooves, horse piles. The tree that met its demise. It keeps going, but I'm not, so let's go back. Butterflies. Seeing my first butterflies of 2024. All right, back in the car. Little 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 squirrel distraction, but we're we're good. We're good. So I'm on uh, Cyclone Road. In fact, I go through a little village called Cyclone. It says we're gonna get dustified today, boys and girls and whatevers, turtles and muskrats and dolphins. Oh, look at that cabin. That's, I mean, so and some of it's just some of this property is just trash. Just, just junk everywhere. People inherit this stuff and they can't keep up with it. You know what I mean? Sell it. And look at this little house. Yes, yes, please. I'll take I'll take that little house right now. I don't need a luxury mansion, and this isn't even a house. This is just nice property up on the hill and. Their trailer and horsies. There's horsies. Hi guys. We're gonna end up uh, kind of following the Big Sugar Creek River. I want to say river at the end of Big Sugar Creek, but it's not. It's just Big Sugar Creek. The sweetest spot in the world. Second sweetest spot. The sweetest spot in the world is Sugar Creek, Missouri. Obviously. Don't even bother googling it. It's none of your business. It's just in dogwood trees blooming. All the white flowers are dogwood trees, right? Anyway, Sugar Creek, Missouri, right by Independence. Kind of, I mean, people just can kind of consider it part of Independence, but no, it's its own municipality. Man, I would buy some of this property. It's kind of, actually, there's kind of a lot of dwellings here. But that little house, man. <laughs> just buy property, put a little tiny, I mean, my Fred, my Fred. My friend has a shed building business. He could just build me a large shed to live in. You know, I don't even do I mean, it running water, whatever. You don't need that. I mean, if you're living here, sure, but if you're just coming here for a weekend. But anyway, we are almost to the town, the village, the whatever of Cyclone. It's little cabins. Okay, here's the big sugar creek, not river. That'd be a cool cabin to have right here by the river. We're in a drought and this river is pretty, pretty hardy. So that's, that's cool. Oh, here's a water crossing. And there you have your marker. We're like, you know, I don't know, six inches. You know, I briefly researched this area, researched this area last night or yesterday. So last night I'm laying in bed, I'm like, maybe I should like, I rock, there's water crossings I read about 
I maybe I should measure uh, where my door threshold is so I know what what level I can go through without water coming in. I am not crossing water crossings, knock on wood, that will come in to my cab. I'm not, this is not, I'm, ain't no Jeep. I ain't pulling out the, the carpets and the what have yous. Ain't doing it. This is my daily driver. <laughs> I don't want no musty dank in here. So anyway, if you go left, you're in, oh, left to Cyclone, but I'm supposed to go straight. Uh -huh. Well, shoot. I'm going to cross, I'm going to go off the beaten path. Yeah. We're going to cross Big Sugar Creek and then we're going to be stuck in Cyclone, Missouri. Yay. 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 See, and again, we have these properties and just put your trailer up here. Cyclone, Missouri. I want to live here. What a, what a gym. This is amazing. Are you kidding me? I'd put a house right up here over the river. A big pasture to our left. Oh my God, this is fantabulous. Are you kidding me right now? Or later? I want to go to that there. I got a rock in my tar, my rubber. I got a rock in my rubber. It hitting the road, rubber hitting the road. Okay, I got to turn around. Oh, that's a duck. I thought it was a turkey. Look at this guy. Oh, that is a turkey. Dude, get off the road. <laughs> there you go. Oh my God. That's quite the effort. I just noticed out in this, oh, I wonder if this is an RV play or going to be an RV place or used to be. See the hookups? I'm gonna point the camera in front because I'm going through Cyclone again and I'm crossing Big Sugar Creek. This is mostly for myself. They got these these cedars here, you know, they're, they're blocking the wind for you. Oh my God, I, I just want that little house right there. This is a little nice house, it's Cyclone, Missouri. A fence, oh my God. Well, that's a big house. I didn't even notice this house on the other side of the river. Oh my God. All right, we are back on Cyclone Road. Land for sale. This way. I'll give it some gas and get up this hill there, boy. So that has to be a private, yep, there's a gate. I just like this. I just like this. See, there's a dogwood over the trail. There's a big field and some uh, property here and the river has to be down there, yep. Beyond those trees. You can kind of see. I'm not gonna show you. Just come here and check it out on your own. Back down again. Oh man. Pro property, so man, look at that addition. That, just, that addition shouldn't have been built. <laughs> it looks like fake brick. Wow. Now the other side of the road is a little barn or whatever it was. I love it. I love shacks. Oh my God, I love that shack. You can see it, but the river's down there and there's bluffs on the other side. But look at this simple little house. Perfect. Just overlooking the river. Oh my God. Oh, that's great. Well done. Oh, there's a the river. Deer. Two deer. There they go. Galloping through the field. There's a song in the background singing about deer galloping through the field with no fear. I think, uh, stop it. It's like a different river. The water looks really cl clear, man. Wow. Man, I want some property on this river. Ah. Oh. Up on a bluff. Same height as those bluffs over there. And we're going down again. Up and down. Look at this house. Oh my God. And there's horsies. Okay, now we're coming into Powell, I do believe. And we're gonna go off the trail a little bit to find uh, the Powell Bridge. We're gonna cross the creek here. Here comes Guy Smiley. I'm gonna pull over. I think that campsite might be the, to the left. Yeah, Creekside, I think it's called Creekside. Oh, so that's how you pull into it, but it's closed off. It may be a summer, 
Yeah, Creekside Campground. That may be a summertime deal only. Crap, this is what I was hoping to check out. There might be another entrance. Yeah, there's the Creekside Campground and the other side. I don't see any way to get to it. There was one way to get to it and it was chained off. Beautiful town of Powell. You turn uh, west at the Powell store and that'll take you over the bridge. I don't know, something about the, this Powell Bridge is historic and whatever. <laughs> it's old, basically. You can't get on the old bridge because it's private property. What is it, just a pedestrian bridge? I think so. And it's all private property, can't, can't go see it. Sucks you can't get on it. This is a 1913 RH Buck and others successfully petitioned the county court to build a bridge over Big Sugar Creek. Prior to this, the creek was crossed at Bentonville Hollow Ford, which was impassable at high water. Modern bridge was later built to accommodate uh, vehicles. Okay, well, that's great. There was an old rusty bridge. Back through Powell, we're gonna go head uh, east on this road called Flag Springs Road, and it kind of follows Mike's Creek. So going over this this bridge, it goes over Mike's Creek. Yeah, Mike's Creek must dump into Big Sugar Creek down that way, a little ways. Mike's Creek. Well, this says, this says this road's, road is called Mike's Creek, but Onyx Maps calls it Flag Springs Road. So whichever, whatever. Going over Mike's Creek. Man, look at that water. Man, that is clear water. Holy moly. Wow. Or to pull over. Look at they even block it off here. It's all private property. This is called Flag Springs Road on Onyx Maps. And at the end of it is Flag Springs Conservation Area with camping and hiking and whatever. They have a shooting range to it, so this is Fox Cemetery. Some of these don't look very old. Improvements made by 2001. Just wanted to see uh, like what the oldest ones are. Died 1901. Died 1900. Died 1886, 81. Yeah, these are, oh, oh look at this. Is that above ground or RIP, but just wanted to see some of the, how old some of these went back. Okay, I'm gonna pass little buddy. Oh, little calf. Oh, you're, oh man, he's out of the fence. Where's your mama? Boo. Oh. oh, geez. I keep hitting things, they keep hitting my, but I got skid plates, so. <laughs> I just love these shacks. Oh my God, you guys. Hello. There's some nice people. He waved, his little boy and a dad and maybe a mom. I, I could barely see him, it was uphill. Yeah, I can see like after a rain, you're gonna be crossing a few water spots. So Mike's Creek's gotta be down there because the bluff. That's an old road. <laughs> it's, uh, it's all got to be private property, you can see. Here's a conservation area, I'm almost, almost to it. And look, man, it's, it's on the map. No idea what it is, but it goes up and around to the pavement up here. Nobody's been up that in years. And that's where you find things. That's where you would want to go look for, I don't know what, olden time things olden time remnants i don't think there's any like civil there's not a lot of civil war or battle or bushwhacker or partisan ranger events that happened around here that i know of anyway that that'd be an interesting trail to explore if you could i'm officially in the conservation area now, that's pretty skinny <laughs> Oh, this, oh, geez, this just falls apart, man. Oh yeah, that's that's no bueno. Yeah, this campsite looks like it's seen more action than those designated ones. I like this, this is great. I could just go to sleep. And that's a wrap. Good night, everybody.